Jigger here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be discussing what these five prototype defenses could be coming to Boom Beach. Uh, it, it was uh, noted in the Boom Box that there is going to be a total of five new prototype defenses coming out. And, of course, the chicken's got some speculation to, uh, to discuss in this, guys. Kind of based on um, the game itself, the other prototype defenses, and... Uh, yeah, so we'll see right here, uh, they said, uh, where was it exactly, uh, five, right here, five new prototype, uh, defenses are gonna be coming, so, let's go ahead, dive on into today's Dr. Terrence, guys, and see what we can or can't get done, so we're gonna be loading up, actually, let's load up something different, let's use, uh, Rift Cross Duke Medic, and let's use Everspark, just to change it up a little bit here, guys, so we'll get, uh, we'll get her, actually, let's get the, the critters going here, so, the first prototype, the chicken has here, guys. I got uh, I got a total of two, four. I got six of them. So strap yourselves in. It's going to be an interesting one. So the first uh, prototype defense. This is something I actually spoke about before on the channel, and it's called a shock geyser. So this one's interesting. The way it would work is it's just a giant kind of shock cannon, and it just throws out a bunch of miniature shocks all over the base. Like maybe it covers the entire radius of the base, so there's no way around it. Um, maybe it doesn't, that would be kind of silly because then there would be no skill involved. You would just get automatically shocked if you couldn't, um, use gumbo energy to take it down. But the idea is it would shock all of the incoming troops for like one, maybe two seconds. Like, it, because there's so many shocks coming out, it wouldn't want to be like five or six seconds because obviously that would just kind of destroy the whole point of, uh, th there would be no balance to that. So the next one, and this one I envision working similar to a hot pod in that it rises and it uh, it falls so you have to trigger it with critters or uh, or with troops to get it to come up out of the ground and this one guys we call the nuke cannon so I would be happy the chicken would like it if there was something um, something nuke nu nuclear that came into the game I, I feel like Homer Simpson there nuclear nu nuclear it's pronounced nuclear guys but anyways um, the way it would work is it would pop up out of the ground and then it would select one target and it would just destroy it so there would be no damage there'd be no dps it would just pick something and instantly uh wipe it out so i don't know if there would be like a little bit of splash damage involved maybe it could hit like say if we're attacking it like we're attacking this base right now maybe it can wipe out like 10 or 15 riflemen but if it's um like a tank or a scorcher or something maybe it just focuses on one of those so it's kind of like a doom cannon that pops up out of the ground and does more damage so I think this would be very interesting the way i see this one working is like kind of a direct counter to bullet so it would require a shock from uh from bullets taunt because it would wipe him out instantly regardless of his of his damage limit or anything else like that um so i think that would be interesting to see some sort of nuclear weapon um uh, just anything like that like a super um kind of doom cannon uh, and then the next one, obviously, is the one that we already know is coming. The uh, sniper tower that apparently shoots through smoke screens. Now, I assume that this is a um, a direct way for them to try and nerf uh, smoky attacks, smoky zooka, uh, primarily. And uh, they did also say that it's going to target um, lower health uh, troops first. So if you have heavies and zookas getting smoked, then it doesn't matter because they're all it's going to target your zookas anyways and it, it really depends on the fire rate of this thing to see if it's actually going to matter or not um when you're taking down bases i mean if it shoots the same speed as a normal sniper tower like go ahead buddy T take down all my zookas one one single shot at a time but if it does a little bit of slash damage then that's a whole different story so remains to be seen on that one it's still kind of exciting so the next one and this one's probably the the stupidest idea of everything this is probably like the worst one um, this one chicken called a shield enhancer. So it would take up the space of two prototypes. So I like, ideally you would run it with another shield uh, generator or it wouldn't do anything. Um, and the idea is that it makes, uh, the one shield like a super shield, but hold on. So it, it doesn't just, um, so th the idea is it, it buffs up the health of the HQ to like something ridiculous that you couldn't actually take down. Like, uh, I don't know, 3, 5, 10 million health, but it's on a time limit. So it only works for like 60 to 90 seconds, something like that. So that way, it 100% negates the smoky attacks, right? The the smoky warriors, the smoky zookas, the smoky heavy zooka that Supercell seems to be trying to um, have an answer for um, with these prototype defenses. 
And it forces you to kind of take your time, sit back, uh, do a, a mass kind of attack strategy where all your troops are spread out on the beach, and you have to slowly work your way to take down the base because the timer's not going to go until you hit that, um, until you actually land your troops on the beach. Something like that I think would be interesting. Um, it would force you to, to attack the base in a different way than you're used to. Um, yeah, something like that I think, I don't know. Like, at the same time, like, if you make the... If you give um, ice players at the top of the game, like a three plus million health shield, maybe that's too maybe that's too um, long of a time. Maybe that just breaks the game at, at the uh, at the at the at the VP uh, leaderboard. Um, so for that reason, I, I would be skeptical there. But I mean, it's a fun idea, and that's what we're doing today, guys. We're doing fun ideas. So uh, the next one that we have, I'm not sure why we're doing a smoky uh, rifle Krausik medic, but we'll see what happens here, guys. Uh, the next one we have is a wind turbine. So big shout out to uh, Green Machine in the private uh, chicken Patreon uh, Discord server, guys. We asked for some help from um, from those guys, and uh, Green came up with this really neat idea that it would work like if you're familiar with Clash Royale, it would work similar to the uh, the tornado spell in that it uh, it just clumps all the troops together. So it's a defense. And the way it works is it just shoots out these random wind, um, these, these random tornadoes, hurricane, whatever. And it just, it brings all the troops right together. And if you get them, like, if you if it uh, hits you at the wrong time, I'm not sure how the fire rate or the speed of it or the damage that it does or anything like that would work. But uh, I like the idea of it. Brings them all together. Maybe you get hit with a shock. Maybe you get hit with a rock launcher. Or maybe you get hit with a, a doom cannon that, yeah, since they're all in one or two tiles, just completely obliterates your entire um, attack strategy. I think that would be super interesting. And then the next one, the last one, guys, is an EMP um, anti-mechanized uh, units uh, radar shooter thing. So the way this would work is it would just, for all mechanized units, it would uh, completely shut them down. It would basically freeze them for a, a duration of time, a few seconds maybe, maybe two or three seconds, and... Uh, it would just continually do this over a period of time, and this would uh, this would be if they're looking to nerf um, a tank medic, scorcher tank, um, things like that. They're a little overpowered at some VP levels. Um, this would be an, a, an interesting way to, to go about doing that. Maybe not the best way, but uh, it would slow them down. Maybe instead of freezing them, it just slows them down a bit. Um, there's a million ways for it to work, guys. But but yeah, I'll, I'll throw that one out to you guys. How how, how would you want to see the EMP thing work? And let me know down below in the comments if you have any better ideas than the chicken for what these prototype defenses could uh, turn out to be, or what you think the best way to balance them would be. Uh, I'm sure Supercell already has this all, uh, completely figured out, but um, it would still be interesting nonetheless to see what uh, what you guys could come up with. That's the best chicken could do for today. We had our uh, we had our notes here. We were thinking, we were clucking, we were ducking, and um, and yeah, we're about to take down stage seven without any zookas. It looks like there were no zooka survivors. Unfortunately, but uh, but yeah, boom stage seven goes down for back 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 So that is just about gonna wrap it up for the video today guys. We might be ending here with a live operation attack uh, Depending on how things go, but uh, actually I, want, I think I might want to spend a little more time scouting this one out I don't want to dive into it right away. So we started um, Marty said it was a good idea to start dead end in our five-man task force, but um, Oh, did I show you guys did I show you guys this? I forgot if I showed this attack already. Sorry if I if, if I showed it to you already, but uh, I think I did, didn't I? Wait, when did he when did he do this? Was it uh, 22 hours ago? Uh, no, there's no way I showed this one. So this was a Titanic on dead end that had over 1.3 million health on the core. And let's just watch the magic here, guys. Let's just watch the magic. Um, so he's going in with the Zookas. He's got brick. Marty is just, like, yeah, unbelievable at these Titanic attacks. Like, I look at them and I'm just like, no, I could certainly not do that. He gets right up here on the core and then watch the shock, guys. I mean, even if we did show it, it's we might as well show it again. And I gotta say again, make sure you check out Marty's last video. It was, it was definitely, um, it was definitely very funny, guys. So, he's got all the Zookas up in the core. He hits his shocks perfectly. He gets the critters out on top of machine guns perfectly. And it's, like... Could not have been any friggin' closer. Look at this. One more shot off right before the machine guns. Like, literally as they turn, he's like fading away, shooting the uh, 
shooting the core of the Zookas, guys. So that is going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts, opinions, um, ideas are for the next prototype defense. Um, how would you balance it? What would you want to see? What do you want to see in general? Let me know that down below in the comments, guys. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, understanding, informative, and we'll see you next one, guys. Checking out.